I love Resident Evil 6, but apparently no one else do. Well, alright, there are others who liked it as well, but the general consensus among fans and critics alike seems to be that the game is either just a mediocre action Enemy turd, sighted. or that it outright sucks. And while you're of course entitled to your own opinion, I'd still like to discuss the game and analyze why it, in my opinion, is a great game deserving of so much praise. Look out, Chris! That giant game critic is coming to get you! Okay, here we go. I was hyped for Resident Evil 6 as soon as it was announced, and I had huge expectations of it. It seemed absolutely packed with action-oriented gameplay and awesome set pieces, and I was incredibly thrilled after the magnificent E3 demo. After all, I loved Resident Evil 5, and I really liked the new direction the series were headed. Resident Evil 6 seemed to take 5's concept and make it bigger, better and longer, with more focus on co-op fun. You see that? That right there? That's my friend. Playing them co-op with me. So much fan. And I was certainly not the only one hyped. There were a lot of people all hyped up for this game. People who hoped for a return to the series roots and... Oh... Yeah, there's the problem. Right there. You see, unlike Ada here, a lot of people, fans and critics alike, went into the game with the mindset that it would be some kind of survival horror experience with action elements. Something Resident Evil 6 definitely is not. DIE BITCH! Thou teaches to stop being so elusive all the time! <clears throat> now, I'm not sure if Capcom actually claimed it to be a return to its survival horror roots or not, and if that was the case, then shame on you Capcom, you lying bastards! My point is that I went into Resident Evil 6 looking for a gory action shooter adventure with huge boss fights and great cinematography, which was exactly what was delivered and I was overjoyed. I mean, look at this guy, he obviously means business and I bet you he's going to- Oh, oh shit, Dave, no, yeah! <laughs> Sweet dreams, young prince. <laughs> well, moving on, what do other people have to say about the game? The action is so bad and it's all just ripped from other games. Well, here's the thing, it's really not. Sure, the gameplay is obviously influenced by your generic action game, but I think Capcom really managed to put their own spin on it. I mean, what games do you feel that they're ripping off? Call of Duty? Um, but, no, that game's first person. Uh, oh, Gears of War then, that game's first person, right? Mm, but the gameplay mechanics are radically different. Hmm. Oh, I know, Super Mario Galaxy then. Ugh, you see my point? Now, before I start sounding like an arrogant asshole, I'd like to address that I get why people would be disappointed in the game not being like the earlier Resident Evil titles, and I get why you would feel that the game is just a lot of action tied to a string. Because it is. But to me, that makes the game a wonderful experience, filled with exciting moments and high adventure. I've always been a sucker for fast-paced action games. I love mowing down enemies, fast speedy vehicle sections, quick time events and so on. I've also always been a sucker for supernatural fantasy science fiction games, and to me the newer Resident Evil games have provided a perfect mix between the two not found in other titles. Also, wonderful enemy design. Look out, it's that giant vagina on legs, and here comes the poacher, and the snipper wrapper. Alright, time to recognize some of the flaws pointed out by critics then. <clears throat> the game is just a mix of everything popular, trying to appeal to everyone and ultimately appealing to no one. Well, that is both correct and, well, incorrect. The game is definitely trying to cram in as much stuff as possible, making it varied almost to a fault. I love this. The variation makes the game feel constantly fresh and having a huge boss fight followed by a fast car chase followed by an explosive string of quick time events feels amazing to play through. However, I will admit that this style of gameplay is not something everyone will be able to enjoy, ironically making Capcom's attempt of a broader appeal sadly limiting the targeted audience instead. <laughs> Kinda like Ada's dress. Limited. You get it? Boobs? <clears throat> 
The game suffers from identity crisis and doesn't know whether it wants to be action or horror. Which is absolutely true, in a way at least. You see, Capcom themselves seems uh, to think they made a, a horror game, which is oh so hey, wrong. Me, Resident Evil 6 please? is most definitely an all-out action game, is something the game itself is very well aware of, right Leon? Yeah. But Capcom, the actual makers of the game, don't seem to realize that, thus having the game marketed as some kind of horror game when it's essentially not. Uh. The rest of the criticism just seems to be variations on these two claims, and let me be clear, they are both very legitimate claims. I'm not doing this video to tell you to love this game. This is something I can't stress enough. You have all the right to choose your own entertainment without anyone telling you what you can or cannot enjoy. Yeah, even that. I am doing this video because I really love this game and I wanted to share my feelings on it, giving you a well needed positive view. Ha! Get out, fucker! <laughs> Having played through the game with my roommate, I can confidently say that it's one of the best games I've ever played. Not because of it being a perfect game or anything, but because there are few games that I've had this much fun playing. The co-op in particular is absolutely amazing and is really the height of the game. In conclusion, I'd recommend Resident Evil 6 to pretty much anyone interested in third-person action games, but considering the major backlash it's received, you might want to check out a few gameplay videos before deciding if you'd want to play it or not. Well, I'm out, Sherry's single now that Jake's dead, and I gotta start working on getting out of that friendzone. Peace.